to ensure you're getting the most of your Unleashed and Zero integration. We recommend you to incorporate a few best practices into your day-to-day -to, -day to keep your integration running smoothly and accurate. Firstly, check your fail to export frequently. This link can be found at the bottom of every page than Unleashed. This will show you all the transactions that could not be exported and the reasons. The most common reasons are things like tax rates not mapped or the customer has been archived or merged in zero. These are errors that will need to be resolved and then re-exported from this page. This can be done by either selecting export on the specific transaction or export all. If you cannot find any errors, this transaction can be safely re-exported via this page. If you're having trouble finding or resolving this problem, please contact our support team. If the transaction is not listed in FAIL exports, please go to Integration Store, Zero, Export Zero Data. From here, select the date range you're looking for. You will also need to do this for stock journals, sales invoices, and etc. From here, select Reconcile. This might take a few minutes, and you will get a notification at the bell at the top right of your screen when this is done. Once you have this notification, you will need to refresh the page. Navigate back to the right tab and correct date span. Please note that you can only do one month at a time. If the record is found, the word exported will appear on the export status column. If not, there will be a variance shown and you can select export on the last column to re-export it. If you require, you can click on the zero link and this will take you straight to the transaction in zero. As Unleashed is constantly sending journals and purchases to zero, you should check if the stock on hand inquiry in an Unleashed matches with the current stock on hand account in zero. It will be much easier for you to pinpoint when the records stop matching if you do it often. Thanks for watching.